What kind of dehydrator is needed in an environment-friendly world? Sodomi dehydrators feature a unitized construction that integrates all necessary accessories. They can be more easily installed and are very compact compared with belt presses and centrifugal dehydrators. They also boast lower noise, reduce energy consumption, and require less water for flushing. Tsurumi dehydrators thus provide an economical and eco-friendly solution to dehydration applications. Tsurumi's MDQ, MDC, and JD series of dehydrators are economical, compact, efficient as well as eco-friendly. Our proven technology is hard at work in a diversity of applications. We have overcome many difficult challenges owing to our long years of experience and unique expertise. Tsurumi dehydrators can handle excess sludge from biological processes, DAF froth, various types of sludge as well as coagulated sludge. Our MDQ, MDC and JD series of dehydrators are widely used at food processing plants that produce dairy products, noodles and other foods, industrial plants, industrial waste treatment facilities and sewage treatment plants. Here are some guidelines to help you choose the right dehydrator for the sludge you have to deal with. If the sludge you discharge is less than 2% in concentration, we recommend a dehydrator from our MDQ or MDC series. But if the sludge you discharge is more than 2% in concentration, we suggest using one of our JD series dehydrators. If your discharged sludge contains less than 40% inorganic matter, we recommend our MDQ or MDC series while the JD series is a wiser choice for higher inorganic content of less than 60%. The various models in the JD series product lineup ensure that there is one with a dehydration capacity from 12 to 160 kilograms of dry sludge per hour and total motor output from 1.4 to 2.6 kilowatts that meets your requirements. Let's look at the seven leading features of our JD series dehydrators. The JD series features an energy saving configuration designed to dehydrate sludge by gravity filtration plus compression. Most models feature a compact, unitized construction with a flush water tank and a control panel mounted on a common base. Each unit can be readily installed in very limited space. We compared our JD series against other dehydrators of similar treating capacity. In terms of energy consumption, Tsurumi dehydrators use about half the power demanded by belt press dehydrators and just one-tenth the power of centrifugal dehydrators. JD series dehydrators and their related accessories can be operated simply and easily from its dedicated control panel. The filtration section consists of multiple discs and a self-cleaning mechanism. Therefore, it never clogs, and the unit can run continuously. JD series dehydrators can stably dehydrate even sludge with high oil content. They are the optimum solution for treating oily sludge, such as DAF froth at food processing plants, which filter cloth systems and centrifugal separation processes cannot readily handle. Thus, our dehydrators boast a higher solid capture rate. JD series dehydrators can handle sludge of various concentrations ranging from 0.5 to 5.0%. Because a dehydrator's filtering rollers are constructed to never clog, flushing is not needed in order to restore its original filtration performance standards. Only a small amount of water is necessary to wash away sludge that oozes from the filtering rollers. 
Thus the amount of flush water needed is minimal and routine maintenance work is not needed. We compared our JD series against other dehydrators of similar treating capacity. In terms of amount of flush water consumed in eight hours of operation, Tsurumi dehydrators used about the same amount as centrifugal dehydrators, but required about 1 14th the flush water of belt press dehydrators. The dehydrator main unit features a semi-enclosed construction and runs at an extremely low speed, so sludge does not splatter from the unit. It also has an eco-friendly design that generates low noise and vibrations and emits virtually no odors. These features can tackle the diverse needs of sites that handle sludge dehydration. Now let's look at how sludge is dehydrated on separate lines equipped with JD dehydrators. The sludge is fed into the measuring tank in the JD dehydrator by a separate sludge feed pump in the sludge tank. A predetermined amount of sludge is measured in the measuring tank and naturally flows into the coagulant mixing tank. The excess feed is returned to the sludge tank. The return feed gate from the measuring tank to the sludge service tank is structured like a screw that makes it easy to regulate the amount of sludge flow to the coagulant mixing tank by controlling the rotational speed of the screw mechanism. The JD series integrates a coagulant mixing tank, dehydrated cake outlet, control panel, and flush water tank into one unit. In the coagulant mixing tank, liquid polymeric coagulant is added to the sludge. Flocking then occurs because of the mixing action. Two types of polymeric coagulants can be used singly or in combination to treat sludge of various characteristics. Coagulant 1 is injected into the outlet side of the measuring tank and coagulant 2 into the mixing tank. After flocculation, the sludge overflows the coagulant mixing tank and naturally flows into the dehydrator main unit. The main unit of the multi-disc dehydrator contains multiple rows of filtering rollers arranged in two tiers. Each filtering roller consists of multiple thick resin discs, small thin stainless steel discs, and large thin stainless steel discs. These filtering rollers are constructed for easy overhaul and reassembly, so maintenance is quick and easy. Slits are formed between neighboring discs so that only water drains out. The larger discs of the filtering roller engage with its neighboring filtering roller, causing the slits to be constantly cleaned. In this way, our dehydrators demonstrate consistent sludge treatment capacity. When the coagulated sludge is fed into the dehydrator, just the liquid component drains through the slits underneath the lower tier of filtering rollers, where it's collected and pumped out of the unit. The filtering rollers are arranged so that the distance between the upper and lower tiers gradually narrows from the sludge feed side to the cake discharge side. Moreover, the filtering rollers tasked with dewatering rotate more slowly than those tasked with filtering, and the flapper mounted on the cake discharge gate both slows and compresses the moving sludge to add yet another stage of dewatering. The treating capacity will vary depending on the characteristics and concentration of the targeted sludge. The amount of water retained by dewatered cakes can be controlled to site demands by changing the rotational speed of the discharge side rollers. The typical treating capacity for a 1,000 mm wide filtering roller is 40 kg of dry sludge per hour for excess sludge, 50 kg of dry sludge per hour for wastewater and sewage treatment sludge, and 60 kg of dry sludge per hour for DAF froth and livestock waste sludge. It's recommended to select a model to meet your needs. Note that the motor output means the total output of all motors mounted in the dehydrator main unit, but does not cover the motor output of units such as the sludge supply pump or polymeric coagulant mixers.
Also note that sludge feed pumps, chemical injection equipment, chemical injection pumps, and other ancillary equipment are not included. And of course, with JD Series dehydrators, you can operate and manage the entire dehydration process with the touch of a single button. Tsurumi JD Series multi-disc dehydrators were designed and built to improve dehydration performance. They promise effective and efficient sludge treatment that meets the frontline needs of industry and public services. Tsurumi multi-disc dehydrators are compact and require less power and flush water to dehydrate sludge than conventional cloth and centrifugal type dehydrators. Tsurumi dehydrators will continue to meet the frontline dehydration needs of industry and public services.